there's nothing like a 95 degree day and an 89, 95% humidity to make you feel warm and uh, fuzzy. We are at the Fontainebleau Hotel, just a couple of blocks down from the Lowe's actually, having a great time here. We've come here because this location, the Fontainebleau, one of the most famous resort hotels in the South, certainly in its heyday, the 50s and 60s, this was the only place to come. It's now part of the Hilton chain, but it has also been the location of Hair Color USA since the very beginning. About 14, 15 years ago, Leland Hirsch, of course, started Hair Color USA. You know that Leland started Artec about uh, 10 years ago this year, I believe, with uh, color deposit shampoo. And everybody at that time said, wow, I wonder when he's going to do hair color. Well, five, six years later, uh, they're doing texture line. They came out with a complete wet line of uh, shampoos, conditioners, styling aids. Still no hair color. Last year, finally, Artec introduced enamels, the long-awaited Leland Hirsch hair color line. And of course, it has been a phenomenal success. Interestingly, because of the fact that you must be a hair color company in order to participate in Hair Color USA, this is the first time that Leland has been able to be back at the event that he started 15 years ago. So we thought this was the perfect venue to come and talk to uh, Leland and Andrew and Brooke and all the people here at Artec to let you know about what's happening with not only their wet line, but also with this brand new exciting hair color line called Enamels. This company continues to uh, just be a phenomenal success and one of a kind in the beauty industry. So let's get inside, get out of the heat, and see what's happening here at Hair Color USA. Introducing a new hair color is no minor event in the beauty industry, and we'd certainly expect Leland Hirsch to do it right. Here at Hair Color USA, hundreds of the country's most promising and successful colorists got a first look at enamels, the new color from Artec. Michael and Leland, of course, two of the most recognizable people in the hair color industry, in the hair color world, most respected names. Artec now, tremendous success. Hair color, finally, who wants to say at last first? I mean, whose idea was, who, first of all, whose idea was it? To do the hair color? Yeah. Uh, Mine when I was born. Has he constantly just been after you from day one with this company to do hair color? Absolutely, from day one. It never stopped. It went, went on and on until we finally achieved. It was the, it was the goal to do the color. At New Best, the salon that Michael runs, we have the world's biggest color department. I know. And for eight years, we worked on the development of this color, just on coverage of gray, half heading against every manufacturer's hair color in the world. On clients, real clients, it wasn't a test salon uh, situation. It was a real world situation. And we listen to what the clients say, being hairdressers and colorists. And, you know, that's the perfection. It's always been, you know, uh, as a consultant to many manufacturers over the years in the development of the coloring products, uh, many times it would be rushed to market. Um, you know, um, the nice thing is it's me and Michael, and, and we report only to ourselves. And we took our time doing it, and that's why it's the winner that it is. Some of this country's top salons have been waiting for Artec Color, which makes it an even easier sale for Artec distributors, something artistic color director for Artec, Leon Tringali, knows firsthand. Oh, yes. I mean, it's, it's been planning. As Leland says, it's been 30 years in the making, honestly. Okay, so when we really looked at it earnestly, it's been about three or four years when we really started to look at the concept. And his vision was to always create things that were never created before. Okay, and with this hair color, it truly is new technology and hair color, and it's been a very, very exciting process all the way through. Leyland has taken his passion and commitment about hair coloring to a new level. He has created a product as a colorist that I know is uh, truly able to give us the support that we want in hair coloring. For hairdressers like platform artist Amber Plant, what really matters is the color itself, because for the client, that's the bottom line. The color's unbelievable. The versatility of it's unbelievable. The reds are unbelievable. The coppers are the truest coppers you've ever seen. The blondes are sheer. They're brilliant. Um, it lasts forever. It holds. It, it's unbelievable. It's the best color we've ever used. In a moment, we'll take you to the huge Artec party featuring New York's famous DJ Grandmaster Flash. 
But before all that fun, let's get down to business with the woman who makes the business happen at Artec, General Manager Brooke Carlson. We sat down in the lobby of Miami's Fontainebleau Hotel to talk about Artec's new color and, among other things, why it took the company so long to create it. It was about, um, I would say, a seven to eight year process, but many of us who talk about this really feel it was a 30-year process. It's really from the day Leland probably picked up hair color and started applying hair color. And Leland's was the only day 30, it began. What, 32 years old That's now. That's right, so exactly. <laughs> it's almost since the very beginning. Were people surprised that Artec didn't immediately do hair color when they started the company, and why didn't they? Well, I think that looking back, it was probably just the right strategy for us as a company. Um, Leland had the idea with the color depositing shampoos, the cleansers, and the moisturizers to really give the salons a means to maintain the color and the client the ability to maintain color at home. And I think now that we were able to, over the years with that, with the introduction of Texture Line, Pure Hair Spa Line, we ended up developing a really great salon base and a salon trust that we can now kind of launch from with all of our new products uh, as for service products, hair color being the first you know, one that we've done now. Mm -hmm. I'm sure your distributors are benefiting now from the fact that you do offer hair color. Some of our distributors actually waited for us, even some that carried more than one line of products, waited mm -hmm. for us to come out with hair color to actually carry hair color. And then we had some other distributors who only carried our tech products, so they waited for us to come out with it as well. Brooke, uh, education has always been an important part of the beauty industry, especially difficult with hair color. Have you had to change what you now need to do for education because you now are a hair color company? We actually had an excellent foundation to start from. You're going to be talking to Andrew Bartfield, our Vice President of Education and shows later. And we had a wonderful foundation already in place and we planned for this. We knew we were doing this. So we went out there distributorship by distributorship, state by state, to build a really great color education force to support the launch and we continue expanding that force as we go on. Andrew Bartfield is Artec's Vice President of Education and he's created some of the most effective educational programs ever for hair color. We met overlooking beautiful Miami Beach and I asked him if having a new color line makes education more difficult to create. It's easier. Why? Well, you know, because of Leland's background with hair color, we've always had a lot of people involved with us educationally that wanted to be with us and, and do different educational events, but you know the the color shampoos, the color moisturizers, the whole color depositing system excited them, but it wasn't as creative. So now that we've ha launched Hair Color, I mean, people have come out of the woodwork to get involved with us educationally. We went from 125 educators last year to over 250 this year. Wow, amazing! Yeah. What about the fact that now you've got to develop different educational programs? Obviously, you've met that challenge. Tell us about what Artec is doing now. A lot of new programs going on. Oh, absolutely. Um, within Salon, we have, you know, basic education on enamels, and then, you know, you get more creative and do more creative things. We're also doing a lot of workshops with Salons. So we've launched what we call the Knowledge Lab, and we're doing this through our distributors, and they're one or two day seminars that actually start out very much like Hair Color USA um, in the sense that in the morning we have a, a main stage presentation where all the artists come out and they, they share the whole concept of what they're going to be sharing in their classrooms. So it's very interactive. There's about a hundred people in a room, so they're very small, intimate audiences. And we have about eight people going through the audience and working with the people as they're doing the hands-on techniques. And it just it, it allows them to go home with a lot more that they can actually work with. And we, all the ones we've done so far have been sold out. Wow. Yeah. Andrew, how would you explain the Artec edge, the Artec energy? There's a passion and an energy at Artec that's always been there. It, the people that work with us that are part of the whole program, they light up. They're a driving force. And we're trying to bring that into the salons. We want people to be as pumped, motivated, excited, energetic as we are so that when we leave, they become part of that passion, that energy, and connect with us and want to be part of our whole program. Being at Hair Color USA means watching top colorists from around the country present amazing color techniques. One of this year's presenters was Joe Blackwell, owner of New York's Dop Dop Salon. Leland took our microphone and caught up with her in the model room just before the show. 
They've been in colors for almost 20 years, and if you really want to get a rock and red, you have to definitely have the pigment weight. And there's no other line that I have ever worked with that has the pigment weight that enamels has. That's a rock and red. To say Artec made a big splash in Miami would be an understatement. Everyone attended the Artec party with Grandmaster Flash from New York, and it went on until the wee hours of the morning. Leland, obviously having a great time and taking care of your distributors, I might add. Yes, this is one of my distributors, son. Future of the business here. Future of the business. He's the ads of Florida, actually. You know, you're, you're spending a bundle tonight. You got a lot of hairdressers in there having a wonderful time. What are you trying to do tonight? Well, we want to get them motivated to go back and buy the color from, um, from our distributors. I mean, you know, we know we have the best color in the world. They're talking about it now that they've seen all the presentations we've done here at Hair Color USA. We've given them a paint can, and I'm a paint can. We've given them our new video, and we know that they're going to go back and get really motivated to want the color. Sales consultants are going to be selling it to them. They're going to get motivated and go sell it to other salons, and everybody wins. There are very few sure things in life. Success in the beauty business certainly isn't one of them. But Artec seems to have found a formula, and this year the formula is hair color. Enamels from Artec has already become the most important product introduction ever for Artec's distributors. If ever there were a sure thing, this just could be it. We can now only wonder what Artec will do next. I think what we're going to do is really focus on the salon. We're going to focus on becoming a very, very important part of the service side of the salon's business. With hair color now, we'll have Demi hair color coming, a lot of other innovations. We have a lightener coming out, many other products to continue to provide salons, hair colorists, hairdressers with the very best products to enhance the service that they provide, uh, the creativity to help unleash their creativity going forward in the future and just to build on that. You know, a lot of people say, uh, does the world need another shampoo? Does the world need another hair color? And I say yes, and I'll tell you why. Because we gotta keep making it better. The whole thing is about inspiration. We wanna inspire an industry, and we wanna help take an industry to a next level so there's more business for everybody. This is one of my favorite parts of uh, doing the show is we get to meet some really interesting people and we get to go some really fun places. This is Frank Wendazzo. Frank is the, uh, what do you call yourself, the senior chef, head chef? I'm the chef in the Gaucho room here at the, the Lowe's chef, Miami Beach Hotel. Which is the best of the best. It is. There's a lot of people out here that try to cook. Right. People watching us right now, they don't know what they're doing. I thought maybe you could give us a little bit of lesson. Yeah, sure. And fish is real important in Florida, right? Right. Okay. It's so the time of year. Do? Yeah, what are you going to show us? We have, uh, you know, seasonality down here is uh, it's pretty major. You have, um, Grupa now. It's uh, the summertime. I was going to say this looks like Grupa. This is Grupa. Uh, it's summertime and it's available uh, at this time in abundance. And uh, with, with the new menu change we just did in the restaurant, uh, we put Grupa on it. We put Snapper on it. All these uh, great local. Very fish. very popular local game fish. Yes. Grouper. Grows huge. Too. Yes, very it can be humongous. Oh, humongous. Okay, show us what to do here. We Simple. got the Grouper. What we're going to do here is put it over here. We're going to put a little olive oil on it. And we're going to season it well. And I like to use uh, just some nice salt and some fresh ground black pepper. So you put the olive oil right on the fish. Yeah. You can do that. Um, we'll do that right when, you know, when you get an order, you kind of give it a little marinade. Now, fish doesn't need to be marinated too long. It takes flavor very quickly. Uh, it's not a dense, you know, it's a, it's a flaky type fish that lends itself to marinate very simply. So we do that right when you so order a little, it. A little olive oil on both sides. A little salt, a little pepper. We're Tell going to just uh, pan roast this fish, get a nice golden color on it. In this case tonight, we're going to serve it with uh, probably some grilled shiitake mushrooms. Uh -huh. Can I bring these over here? Yep, a nice fava, be fava bean risotto. That, fava uh, beans. That we're, we're that How we're the fava beans over here. coming? They're, they're coming they're good. These coming are good. good. Okay. And right so. now, we're just going to let this take a nice little sear, start to get a nice golden brown, and we'll finish it right here on, on the burner. And what are you going to do with these? These we would toss on the grill a little bit later, right, right before we're about to plate the dish. Let me check on the fava beans, okay? Absolutely. How are you doing back here, guys? We're doing great. Yeah. What are you doing? Fava beans. Yeah. Fava beans, and what are you doing? Peeling potatoes, too? Yeah. Okay, good. We're Thank you. Fava beans are fried. The help over there is peeling the uh, fava beans. You know? Right. Yeah, having a good time. They're good great time. staff I have. Are here. they great staff? Yeah. yeah. We, we kind of like them. Okay, so you got a plate here? I'm going to put it? it on this plate. We'll finish it. And 
Here, I'll put it right here so we can see it. You call it finished. That means put it on the plate, right? Completed, yes. Yes. And that would be accompanied with the risotto and everything else. Ah, very nice. I like the way you just kind of lay it down there. Part of the artistic about it. Yeah. Do they teach you that in, in chef school? <laughs> they try to. <laughs> do a lot of people just drop it on the floor? Yeah, a lot of people just... Whatever they do. Hey, listen, thank you very much. You're Frank. Very we welcome. had a great time. Thank you very My much. My pleasure. Delicious food, wonderful restaurant, great chef. The Lowe's here in uh, Miami Beach is just a wonderful place. We'll be back with more, too. Stay with us. Bye. If you have more than one person in your in-house graphics department, chances are you're kidding yourself, and it's costing you money. WPI Graphic Services, the industry leader in design, pre-press, printing, and mailing, digital photography, and distribution knows what you need, and they can save you money, guaranteed. For over a decade, WPI Graphic Services has been creating high-quality sell sheets, newspapers, brochures, catalogs, and all types of promotional materials for the industry's top distributors and manufacturers. If you're spinning your wheels and spending your money trying to produce in-house what WPI Graphic Services can produce for you, it's time you got out the calculator and looked at the bottom line. WPI buys millions in printing every year. You can't beat their printing prices. WPI buys new high-tech equipment the moment it's available to save you time and money. From digital pre-press through printing, custom mailing to CDs and website design, WPI Graphic Services has the people and the resources to get the job done. If you think you're saving money trying to do it in-house, think again. If you have more than one person doing in-house graphics, WPI can save you money. And if you have no one, then you definitely need them. See Frank Hendricks at booth 211 on the convention floor. WPI Graphic Services, making technology work for you. Hair color extraordinaire. Yeah, we don't think of you as a hair colorist extraordinaire, but I guess you didn't do this, admit it. I when did, we come back on right. Profiles, Jim Markham, the man who, of course, is a famous in this industry for doing pretty much everything. He's, like, created how many product lines? 17? Four. Four. Uh, hairdresser to the stars back in 1923. He did uh, Robert Redford and <laughs> Paul Newman. A little bit too far back. But 1937? Getting closer. He looks great for 67 years old this year, Jim Markham. When we come back, we're, we're going to tell you about... Purology, a brand new product line. It is not only new, but it's different, it's unique, it's very special. There is nothing like it. Trust me, we mean it this time. There is nothing like this. When we come back on Profiles, don't go away. Same age. You don't look, a day, over, you don't look a day over 63 tops. We're working on one roof on a constant basis. It's a constant buildup, a constant change, a constant evolution. Uh, one Roof is a concept that, that we believe in very much and I hope that everybody else in the industry does. Uh, it is something where we are trying to work towards more and more industry unity where different elements of the industry work closely together. We have a number of the organizations that are in the industry that now function under One Roof and, and, and help to enhance what One Roof is. Uh, I believe that we would like to extend that hand to every organization, everybody in this industry. And whether at one point or not it is called One Roof uh, is irrelevant to me as long as everybody finds a way to get together because this industry will not have truly come into its own until we can accomplish that. This year's BBSI annual convention is going to be the first step in an evolutionary change that we have been working on, planning for, and very, very diligently working towards. Uh, you will see some minor changes this year. Uh, we have invited some members of the AACS, the school association, to be in attendance this year. Uh, we've extended the invitation to the number of chains that have been invited this year. Uh, we hope to evolve the, the, the show, the BBSI Annual Convention. In fact, we don't hope to. We will evolve the BBSI Annual Convention into a much, much bigger media event, and we hope to accomplish that no later than 2003. As president of the BBSI, 
I have a message not only for members of the BBSI, but for everybody in this industry. Uh, the time has come. We're going through massive changes in our industry. We're going through consolidation. We've just had uh, major companies from the consumer industry enter our industry. And it is a time, not only for BBSI members, but for members of all organizations to find a common ground, put aside their differences, and find ways to work more closely together because this industry cannot be all that it can be until that happens. Well, you know, we don't usually do the beginning of a segment with the guy standing next to us, but I figured this guy's so important, I don't want you to go away yet. Jim Markham, of course, um, legendary in the hair care industry, known for many, many years as hairdressers to the stars, everybody from Paul Newman and Robert Redford to God knows who else. Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen. Then, Lord. of course, tremendous amount of success created, developed uh, the ABBA product line, which we all know was a gigantic success. Sold that a few years back. Got more money than he knows what to do with. That's not true. Not true. Not true. Forget that I said that. <laughs> but he's taken a, some time off. He's been thinking like crazy. And, of course, uh, as he said uh, a long time ago, when I have something that's new and exciting, you'll hear from me again. Well, the fact of the matter is he has done just that. The line is called Purology. It is uh, very, very unique. Now, when I say there's a new product line, this is different. It's very different. It's very it? different. And we're going to give him an opportunity to tell you all about it. You're going to meet uh, um, Jeff. We're going to talk to Terry. Terry. We're going to find out what's going on educationally. If you're a distributor and if you're looking for a brand new product line that is completely unique, stay tuned for the next uh, 10 or 12 minutes or so. We're going to find out what's happening inside this man's brain as we bring you here to Irvine in Southern California to find out about Purology Serious Color Care. Boy, that's good, Jim. You got a second career. Let's go inside. You'll be seeing and hearing a lot about the new Purology line here at the BBSI. Jim Markham's long-awaited re-entry into the manufacturing business has resulted in these unique products formulated for color-treated hair. I sat down with Jim in his Irvine office to find out, among other things, why he's getting back in the beauty business. Well, you know, after going around the world and Cheryl and I look going to Paris and the Cosmoprof and being off for that long period of time and having a chance to look at ingredient technology and looking at the industry objectively, we, we love this business. You couldn't stand it, could you? And we, we thought if we can come back and do something really special, we would, and if we couldn't, we wouldn't. And, uh, so I looked at developing a sulfate-free shampoo that was carcinogen-free, 100% vegan, that didn't strip color, didn't strip hair. And, and if I could do that, then I would want to go on and... You could, it seems to me that you could have created a, a product line that also had a color-protecting shampoo, but instead you've created your entire product line is all about protecting hair color. Why did you make that choice? Well, you know, we're a prestige line. There's really a prestige line that there's is one that caters to the top, you know, 20% of the salons. We cater to the, the, the A salon, uh, the B plus salon, the spas, the, the top lines that really, a lot of them bring in products from overseas because there really isn't any prestige lines in the U.S. There's a, I can't think of any particularly, and I for sure can't think of any that's a prestige line for color treated hair. There's really no category at all for ours. And so we're a prestige line for color treated hair that's okay. with longer lasting color guarantee. I want to do what I know you like to do best okay. because we've done this before. We've done it for a number of years. We got these little things here for you, just for you. Okay. Because I know you're just dying to show me what's special about this product. I well, know you're just well, dying to well, tell first, me. Well, first of all, you notice that it's a custom bottle. I noticed that it's right away. It's a panel. Away. You notice the sharp corners and the textured edges. And when your consumer looks at this, there's three places, longer lasting hair color guaranteed, uh, serious color care, pure serious color care, sulfate, uh, safeguard, safeguard your color, mm -hmm. it's upside down, zero sulfate, 100% vegan. We've said color three times, they turn it over and it says longer color life guaranteed. So the payoff, they've seen it here, they pick it up there, they open it, they smell the product, and it's patchouli, ylang, anise, oak moss. It's a really an aroma sensory experience. They, they uh, try the product. You notice it's very creamy. It's got a good after feel. It doesn't strip the color. It's got high foam. It's, it's really the finest product in the world, without a doubt. The, uh, this is a, uh, an immediate improvement in the hair. 
The next product is Reconstruct Repair. Again, this should, uh, the, it does have a hang tag on it. This one doesn't, but you can see the textured yeah, neck. Here. And uh, the custom colors, by the way, you'll notice it's not out. These are brand new colors. And uh, uh, bar-coated, so we're ready for the, the, any and all distributors with any kind of sophisticated equipment. And um, this product has got uh, a very high concentration level of proteins, high concentration level of color protectants, antioxidants, sunscreens, UVA, UVA protection for color-treated hair. That is a very uh, nice aroma. Tell me about this. This, fragrance. this I thought was really interesting. Stuff, well, this, right? this product, you know, most products uh, that give the hair uh, movement or texture or, or, or lift or move around, uh, it usually comes you stick your hand into a jar, which is spreading bacteria from one customer into the other. Everything we have is contained because it's a prestige upscale line, but you can do anything with the hair. Now, what am I seeing there, Jim? What is that? You're seeing these fibers that create marvelous texture and hold and manageability wow. on the hair. Boy, that smells good, too. And that, Well, that's the Elimi oil, lemon oil, ginger, and orange oil. Okay, let's get to this one. This is um, Power Dressing, Body Hold Shine. This is the, I gotta do this, okay? Because okay. this, I found the most interesting stuff. This, this is like pudding. It, it has a pudding-like consistency. It's like pudding. It, it is. Interesting. It, it, it is probably one of our most liked products. So, you know, although our focus is on the zero sulfate and the, uh, the you know, that particular innovation, this is first to market and this is, one of the most liked products for styling the hair. It's got mica in it. It gives a lot of shine. You can blow dry with it. It gives volume. This is first to market as well. Like Jack Trout, the marketing guru, says, um, better to be first than to be best. Well, we're not only first, but we're first best. First and best. In just a few minutes, we'll visit the first Purology education training and find out what'll be coming soon for distributors. But first, I asked Jeff Orell about the challenges of being Vice President of Sales at a brand new company. Big challenge right now for me is rollout, actually being able to schedule uh, every distributor adequately. Right now we have such an overwhelming response uh, across the country and even in North America that it really becomes a timing and a serviceability issue. Jeff, you know, a lot of times we see a new product line come out and they seem to pride themselves in the fact that they've managed to introduce 87 products at one time. <laughs> This line, the Purology line, is, is, correct me if I'm wrong, purposefully very short, small product line. Why? Well, we wanted to keep it fairly simple. We wanted people to be able to uh, give commitment to the line and, and uh, accept the line quickly. We wanted them to feel comfortable that they had a, a product line that would work from start to finish with eight products, starting with shampoo all the way through our styling and finishing tools. Distributors are, are bombarded with new products, obviously, all the time, especially this time of year. What is it that's going to make a distributor want the Purology line? Why are they going to make room for this in their distributorship? Well, first of all, this product line is add-on business. Uh, it's, it's not going to conflict with anything, any other lines that they carry. And what we've tried to do is raise the bar, raise the bar in technology, uh, bring a product line to market that uh, meets and exceeds uh, what today's consumer is interested in and that is guaranteeing that their hair color is going to last longer. We've seen a, a resurgence in hair color. It happens to be the fastest growing category uh, or segment in our industry today and what we wanted to do is we want to take advantage of that. What do you expect from distributors as you talk to them and they say, wow, this is pretty interesting. I, we, we might want to do this. What do you want them to do? What do you expect from a, a new distributor? Specifically, we're looking for distributors that uh, are willing to go out and uh, place Purology in their top 20% in their marketplace. Uh, we're a prestigious line, therefore we want to be marketed in position to A, B plus, spas, and uh, so specifically that's, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for distributors that, that recognize that this is a prestigious line and that they will take this product to their top 20% their marketplace. We're here at uh, actually the Marriott Hotel in uh, Irvine where a training is going on right now for uh, the guest artists and the, and the educators that will be going out in the field with Purology and uh, Gino is up there teaching them some stuff right now. But I got Terry O'Neill here who is down from Canada because uh, Terry is the national sales manager for all of Canada. Big job. That's correct. And yet you told me earlier this is going to be a piece of cake. Absolutely. Where does that come from? 
Well, you know, I've had a history with Jim and Cheryl with um, ABBA in the past, and they had a great response in Canada, and understanding that Pureology is light years ahead of where ABBA was. In fashion in Canada, I think, by most U.S. manufacturers, is overlooked. And Jim really understands Canadian marketplace, as does Jeff, and I think that gives us a head start there. What about the products themselves? I mean, you are obviously very, very aware of the ingredients. We know that the genius of, uh, of Jim Markham creates some pretty fabulous products. How is that going to work for you in Canada? How are you going to take that to the Canadian distributors? Well, you know, I, as the industries evolve, I think that, you know, people for years have been saying, you know, our industry needs to get the professionalism back into the industry. And it seems to me that over the years, perhaps manufacturers have went down to the level of the artist that, you know, has dropped over the years. And I think our mission at Pureology is to give them a product that will certainly enhance their art form and to bring the level of professionalism back up with, throughout the whole industry. You looking forward to Canada? Absolutely, we're looking forward to Canada. It's uh, always great to be around a bunch of creative people that are working on stuff. Look at this. I mean, these guys are just working away. We're actually in the middle of uh, the class here in uh, Irvine. Gino Levy, who is the international, give me the title, artistic team, team leader, leader, right? Yeah, we're team, yes. Uh, the creative genius behind the styles and the trends that we'll be seeing from Pureology because Jim Markham, while he is a genius when it comes to ingredients and in product development knows that he's got to turn it to the younger guys to let the trends get out and that's what your job is. What's going to happen now? What's the first thing we're going to see from Pureology when these people go out in the field and start doing their educational classes? Well what we're going to start to do is we're going to have a collection, a color collection and also a trend collection that really the products are going to be able to enhance because stylists today they want really innovative authenticity and originality and for this particular serious, for serious color treated hair this is something that's really far superior in styling technology and, and, and really shampoos and conditioners which really are going to help the color client keep their color longer. Jim Markham has created a truly unique product line and one that offers his future distributors a unique opportunity to sell something that quite frankly nobody else can sell. That's a good thing and with Jim Markham behind it it's a sure thing. I, I think and, and, and they all know this there hasn't been any new innovation in 20 years that I'm aware of. We've got the first most innovative product there. We've got a category that can fill a market they need. It's add-on dollars for them. It's a prestige line for color-treated hair or color-enhanced hair. And, and uh, the ones that get in first are the ones that are going to be the most profitable. But, you know, when you fill a solution, when there's a need or a problem, and you fill it, which we're doing with this for color-treated hair, they have a problem. Their hair fades out. It's stripped out with these harsh sulfates. We get rid of it. We were, we were able to retain their color. We fill nearly every distributor's category. It fits in with nearly every line they have. So, you know, we believe this is an entrepreneurial business. A lot of the big uh, conglomerates have came in. We believe it'll go back to the entrepreneurs where it started. And, and that's what we are as entrepreneurs. Well, that's about going to wrap it up for this edition of Profiles for the 2001 BBSI Annual Convention here in Las Vegas. Coming to you this time from beautiful South Miami Beach. What a great time we have had here. I'd like to thank especially Bert Carter and Susie Fields of YourBeautyNetwork.com and Salon Training International. Uh, Bert and Susie brought us down here to South Florida, took some time out from their very busy schedules to uh, talk about what they do and what's happening with their two very exciting companies. Also, a very special thanks to the people here at the beautiful Lowe's Miami Beach Hotel. This is certainly one of the most beautiful places that we have stayed in the years we've done profiles. And if you're coming to South Florida, I would strongly recommend that you look into staying here at the Lowe's, beautiful Lowe's Miami Beach Hotel. Great convention facilities, by the way. If you just tuned in, remember, Profiles will repeat again in just a moment, and you can watch it all from the beginning. So if you missed something, you have an opportunity to see it all over again. That'll about do it. Thanks again. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Profiles.